in the middle of our living room, just under our TV. My wife Lindsay and I have a small sign that was given to us as a wedding gift. It is a small sign that says two words, live simply. These two words are ones that I see just about every day and remind me constantly to not get wrapped up in the extra of everything in the world and to be present where I am. Today is a special day in the church. The day of Palm Sunday is usually a day of great celebration, a day of processional, singing loudly and praising in the church building. A day that starts the beginning of Holy Week that leads us to the wonderful news that is the resurrection and Easter next Sunday. A day that many of us hold dear in our hearts. However, this Palm Sunday, it looks and feels a little different. What is usually a loud, bustling church is today one filled with about five of us. While the rest of us come together digitally from our homes. What is usually a time of traditions and celebrations is today a time of adjustments and adaptations in response to where we are right now. What is usually a time of movement and commotion has instead become a time of stillness. Palm Sunday looks a little different today. As I was preparing this sermon and thinking about the adjustments and adaptations that we have made to make for service today, those two words, live simply, kept echoing in my head. In this time of stillness and uncertainty, this time of grief where many of the traditions that we hold dear to our hearts are being forced to change and may look differently than what we usually do, a time when we may think that we are losing what makes this Sunday and this upcoming week of Holy Week so special. Those two words, live simply, ring out in a way that brings us back beyond all the changes. Those two words of live simply remind us that God, Christ, and the gospel that we heard today and will hear in the week going forward are still present and ringing true, even though things may look differently. The first gospel that we heard at the beginning of service today is the story of Jesus entering into Jerusalem. Jesus entering in on the back of a donkey and people laying down palm branches and their coats and shouting praises to God for Christ's arrival. The people in our gospel today, they used what they had. They took the coats off their backs, they took the palm branches from trees nearby to lay down before Christ, and they sing praises to God. In our first gospel reading, the story that we hear every Palm Sunday, we hear the triumphant arrival of Jesus entering into Jerusalem as he heads towards the cross and overcoming sin, death, and the grave. This message of triumph and praise, this Je the story of Jesus entering into Jerusalem and heading towards the cross and the ultimate example of God's love and grace for us all, still rings true today. Even though our palm processional may look different, even though we are coming together through live stream from our homes all across the Greenville area, and maybe even all across the country, this message of praise and triumph still rings true today. In our second gospel reading, we hear the story of the passion. We hear the story of Jesus coming before Pilate and being sentenced to death. We hear the story of Jesus being crucified on the cross and dying for each and every one of us. We hear the beginning of the story that we will hear the rest of next week in Jesus' resurrection and Jesus overcoming sin, death, and the grave. We hear the story of the ultimate example of God's love and grace for us all. And even though we may be at home instead of here in the church building, even though Holy Week that we are starting may look a little different than it has in the past, and maybe a little different than what we are used to, that message of God's love for us all, so much so that Jesus went and died on the cross for us all, still rings true this day. In our world today, where some of our traditions have been forced to be changed, worship looks different. Us walking together with each other in our lives, it looks different. What we are used to and how things have always been done 
they have been forced to be changed. Even though all of these things have happened, the message of the gospel still rings out true this day. Jesus enters into our world triumphantly and is present with us every day, walking with us through all the ups and the downs of life. This Palm Sunday, our service looks differently than most of us are accustomed to. The traditions that we hold dear to our hearts and love so much, they most likely do not look how they always do. But the message of Christ coming into Jerusalem triumphantly, that never changes. Jesus comes and enters into our world today, and just like the people of Jerusalem, we too praise God just the same. We use what we have. The, pa the palm branches may not be the same, but through our singing from home, our reaching out to one another and checking in with each other, through our taking the necessary precautions and steps to make sure that all of us are safe, we are praising God and Christ. And even though this holy week that we are entering into will not look the same, things will be different. Things will be adapted and changed. However, the message of Christ dying on the cross for each and every one of us will always ring true. God loves each and every one of us so much so that Christ died on the cross for us all. Whether we have service exactly the way we always have done or not. Whether we add something new and different, that message will always remain true. And the wonderful news of the gospel and God's love and grace for us all will always be there. We are in the midst of a time of fear and uncertainty, a time of change. Things will most likely not look exactly the same after all of this is done. Our time together in worship will most likely look a little different. How we interact with each other and walk with each other will most likely look a little different. And as we go through this time, many things that we are accustomed to and hold dear to our hearts may change and be a little different. However, despite all of the change and uncertainty in the world, and the fact that we will most likely never be the same after all this is done, the message of the gospel will always ring true and be there. No matter what things look like, God will always be there, breaking into our world and walking with us in our lives. And no matter what happens in the world, no matter what we say or do, that message of God's love and grace will always be there. That message that God loves us so much that Christ died on the cross for each and every one of us without exception. We are all beloved children of God. And no matter what happens, no matter what things may look like, that will never change. And the good news of the gospel and the wonderful, amazing gift that is God's love and grace, that will never change. Things may look a little different than what we are used to. But no matter what things look like, God is always present and with us. And the wonderful news of Christ's death and resurrection that we hear today and will hear this week and next Sunday will always ring true and be there no matter what. And for that, we can say, thanks be to God. And may the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be pleasing and acceptable to you, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Amen.